this is Mr. Klein, and I would like to welcome you to a new school year. Uh, we're up for some exciting changes uh, in my classroom this year, and it's all based around the flipped classroom. Now, what this video is going to be is this is an introductory lesson, essentially, of what the flipped classroom is. Okay, There are some video topics we're going to talk about. Three things we're going to cover here. We're going to cover what the flipped classroom is. Okay, what it means, and how it's going to kind of work. We're going to discuss what to expect inside of the flipped classroom. And then we're going to also discuss what to expect outside of the flipped classroom. Okay. We're also going to discuss the benefits for you as a student, your expectations that, that uh, I'm going to have for you throughout the video. And it's also going to talk, kind of give you a guide also for your parents, if you want them to watch this video as well, to kind of get an idea of what my class this year is going to be like here at Bellevue West. Now, first question ultimately is, what is the flipped classroom? Okay, this is something that's new, it's a new topic. Uh, you're not going to see it a lot here. You might see it a lot in, in a couple other classes, but we're going to, we're going to dive into this uh, head first. Okay, the flip classroom is exactly what it says it is. We're going to flip how you essentially run the class. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to take your direct instruction. If you think about how a classroom works, classroom normally your student comes in, they sit down, the teacher stands in front of the room, does his lecture for 40 minutes, and then gives a homework assignment. And you might have maybe five or ten minutes to work on that homework assignment. And then the bell rings and a student's off to another class. And then they come back to it later that night for homework. They sit down at their desk or their table or in front of the TV or wherever it is that you decide to do your homework. Um, and you work the first two problems because you're like, all right, I got this. This is no problem. This stuff's easy. And then you get to like the third and the fourth problem. And then it gets a little bit harder. And then all of a sudden you get to those last like... 10 or 12 problems, and it's like, I have no clue what I'm doing. Mom and dad, help me out. Oh, wait. Uh, mom and dad took math about 25, 30 years ago, and they don't even have a clue what you're doing, which is normal. Okay? Most parents don't remember what the heck they did in class, and they have a hard time with helping out, especially with math. Okay, So what the flipped classroom is going to be able to do for you is we're going to take and we're going to flip those. We're going to flip the homework. We're going to flip the direct instruction. So now, instead of having direct instruction in the 40-minute class period, I'm going to have direct instruction on the outside of class. So when you go home, your homework is going to be watch a video. Okay, Watch a video on this lesson. And your video is going to be anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes long. Then when you come back to class, we're going to take your homework. We're going to put your homework in the classroom. So now, instead of you going home being frustrated with not knowing what to do, I'm going to be here. You're going to have your fellow students, okay? And we're going to do the homework in the class, the actual practice in the class. So that way, it's much easier for you as a student, and you are much more like this picture here, where you know exactly what you're doing today, as opposed to when you go home and you don't have any clue what's going on, and you get really frustrated, and you're like, ah, oh, man, I quit doing this stuff, which is what happens to a lot of students, okay? So this flipped classroom is going to give you the opportunity to actually ask questions in class for the teacher, for your fellow students, and take the direct instruction outside of the class of you watching videos and completing some other things. Okay, second topic was what do we, now that we're going to take and we're going to flip this thing around, what do you, I expect of you outside of the flip classroom? So when you go home at night, what's your homework going to look like now? Okay, well, here's what it's going to look like. Students, you're going to watch 5 to 15 minute videos covering the major concepts of each section. Okay, now, this is not just sitting down and watching your 15 minute video, get it done as quick as you can. You got the TV rolling, you got the radio rolling, you're hearing, you're listening to something, and you're watching this video. That's not how it works. Everything needs to be turned off. 
your 15 minute video should take you about double the time that the length of the video is. So I want you to be able to pause, rewind, rewatch, and jot down notes. You're gonna get notes for each section. You're gonna be required to write down the notes. It's gonna be part of your homework assignment now. Okay, again, plan on spending at least twice as much time watching note taking as the, watching and taking notes as the videos uh, going on. Okay, now you're also going to be required to watch, summarize, and question the video. Okay, it's what we call a WSQ, it's a WISC. W stands for watch, S stands for summarize, Q stands for question. You're going to get one of these with every single video that you have that you're going to have to fill out. Some will be on Google Forms. On the computer, some will be on a handout that you'll have to fill out. You'll also have to answer some questions. In terms of, I may give you three or four questions in your note packet that I want you to complete and come to school the next day done, have it completed, so that we can discuss it for the first five to ten minutes in class. Okay. So, there will also, though, we're not going to watch a video every single night. That's not necessarily the way it's going to work every time. There will still be some traditional homework uh, from time to time. Okay. All right, now that we've talked about what to expect outside of the classroom with your videos, your WSQ, and all that stuff, what are we going to do now inside the classroom? We're taking all that out. No longer do you have a teacher standing in front of the room and, and regurgitating information to you for 40 minutes. What does that allow us to do inside the class? Well, you know what? That gives us a ton more time. Okay? Well, what are we going to do with all that time? We're going to do more stuff. We're going to do activities, practice problems, projects assessments. We're going to be able to do the work in the classroom and you're going to have the support of the teacher and the student and other students in your classroom there to help you rather than being at home when mom and dad don't have any idea to be able to do that. Okay. You're also going to be able to get additional clarification at the beginning and throughout the class. It can be done either by the teacher or the student. Okay. There will no longer be long periods of me spitting information at you during lecture. There's going to be more time for me as the teacher to be able to help you as the student understand and, and, and understand and get, get it during activities. I am very, very excited for this school year. Okay, Very excited for this school year. Uh, this is a new endeavor for me. I did this last year with my Algebra 2 class. It worked fairly well. Okay, And some of the things that I noticed with this was that it was great for a student because they can learn at a pace that's beneficial to you. And you can watch the video, you can rewind the video, you can go back and review it. We come to a test, you can go back and watch the videos right before the test is a review. It's really, really beneficial. Okay? The one thing that's different about this is that it's going to make you be responsible. If you're not watching the videos, you're going to be in deep trouble because you're not going to understand how to do what we're doing. It is very, very important that you stay up and you continue to watch videos and keep up with what we're doing. Okay, It really makes you take ownership of your education. Okay? Again, I'm very excited for this school year. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, this is my information. It's got my email address. It's got the website that I have. Also, don't forget, check your student Gmail accounts here soon. Okay, You're going to be getting, you've got a bunch of information uh, in your uh, Google Drive that we're going to take a look at and we're going to work through as well. Again, I'm excited here to uh, start the new year and I want to hope and, and wish that everybody has a great year.